Hey everyone, so at this point of the build, right now I'm at a stage where I'm trying to solve the problem for how I'm going to open the side of the coop here. So I'm working on a plan here to, to build a door for the side that I can lift up, open, and kind of rake out. I'm going to use a piece of OSB and I'm just going to use some pine framing around it on the inside. I might even use some live edge stuff just to make it look kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put that together now and I will catch you in a bit. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a closer look at kind of the look I was going for. Really nothing fancy, just uh, working on trying to make it, put the door together and make it look somewhat decent. So I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna put it together with brad nails and I'll see you in a bit. Just realized the camera wasn't on when I was doing this, but um, I basically just took a rough piece of rough cut pine and closed this gap in over here. I put the door on, got some hinges that I had that I bought for another project that I never used, and just put this door on. And as you can see, it's pretty hefty. It's a heavy door. All right, so now I need to address the front and get a door set up here um, to let the chickens in and out. And I figured I'll just cut out the spot I want for a door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a frame right here in this square. Uh -huh. Then I'm gonna make a door that fits that and then use those hinges to put the door on it. I already have the framing of the coop. I'm just gonna make the door the same size. I'm gonna cut this piece to fit this top in here so it'll be a framed in square. I'm just gonna make a door out of some more pine and the door will swing up and I have a pair of hinges here I can use to, to do that. So, mark where I need to cut this. Then I'm gonna come get my electricity so I can cut it. <laughs> uh, helps to pay attention. At some point in the camera, you're gonna see me hit my face on this. And I'll probably edit it out. You know, about the same distance. Let's 
try that again. Oh boy. I always knew I'd have to build myself a dog house. This coops are rocking. Don't come knocking. Chicken coop fit for a king. We need to make a 20 by 20 door. As long as this is 40 inches. It's a lot more than that. Yeah, this will work. All right, hang tight. I'm gonna whip up a door real quick. We're doing pretty good so far. We now have a new front door, new side door for cleaning it out. I temporarily took some of the, this thin plywood on the other side and just brad nailed it in for now. So this way I can actually bring the chickens out here and put them out in their coop so we can get them out of the house and they'll be a lot more comfortable in a, in a bigger space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some chicken wire and just put it over this and some over on the other side. They're not going to be laying eggs for probably at least three or four months. So building the nesting box is in a huge rush. So I will do that in a separate video at some point. I am going to put the roofing on here today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then that should pretty much wrap this up. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the roofing on. I get some rolled roofing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take a measurement of the roof and I'm going to go over and measure the roofing and then just start putting the roofing up here. This should go pretty quick. 102. Like I said, I'm just gonna use some chicken wire. But I used, I did two layers of chicken wire just to make sure that they can't get out and that anything smaller wouldn't be able to climb up and bust through. Um, doesn't guarantee anything, but it just it's a little bit more secure that way. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. Then I gotta close up the soffits on both the front and the back. So I'm just gonna lift it up. Right to the edge. Now it's time to welcome the chickens to their new home. We'll be right back. 
All right, chickens. Welcome to your new home. All right, one more to go get. You're going in a new big home here. There you go, Kyle. You hold it. Ready? Yeah. Buds. I want to touch one. We're all good now. Now? I'm all right, all the chickadees are in their new home. They got their welcome home sign right here. So, hopefully in the next few months they'll be pooping us some breakfast. So the chicken coop is mostly done. There are a couple little things that are going to be left to do to it, but as you can see, these guys were too big to be inside. It's pretty much to the point where they can totally live in it, no problem. Let me show you what I'm talking about. But I don't want to uh, do any more with it until I build the nesting boxes, which are going to go right on this side here. And so right now I have this piece of wood, and this is just a scrap piece of plywood that I had left over and I just nailed it to the side to keep the side closed up. This side over here will be done when I build the nesting boxes, which I will get to at some time in the near future. And it is no rush because they're too small to be laying. Um, you can see what I did the roofing here is I just rolled it over to the side and nailed it to the front, which is gonna be perfect for letting the water drip off the front. And we are gonna build a run off of the front of this. And I don't plan on leaving it here. I do plan on moving it. They seem pretty happy. They're eating a piece of paper. <laughs> Chicken. So there they are. Alright everyone, so that's going to be it for the chicken coop build. This sign was made by Roy over at Clavoda Million Signs. And if you haven't checked out his channel before, I did put up a quick video on this sign before when we first got it. But I will put another link in the description below so you can go over and check him out. He does some really awesome work over there. So Roy, again, really appreciate it. Kids love it, I love it, the chickens love it. The only things left to do on this chicken coop is to figure out what to do with the exterior of it. Either paint it or maybe I'll make some siding for it, not sure yet. If any of you guys have any ideas as to what I should do, put it in the comments down below. Let us know what you think. That's gonna be it for this video series on the chicken brooder. No, not a chicken brooder. What is it? Chicken That's going to be it for this series on the chicken coop build. So again, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the other two videos in the series, I'll put some links here so you can check those out as well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And like I said, check out the other videos on the channel. I think you're going to like those too. If you like the videos on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. You'll get notified when we put out new videos because I think you'll like them as well. And thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for being here for the series. Next coming up, going to be working on building a shed. Yep. So we will see you soon for that. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye, Buck